Amen. The Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Today is the third Sunday of Lent, and this is for us all. It's a door for repentance. It's a, an opportunity to come back. This is a time where we come back to our Father. This man who had two sons, and his son, although he was enjoying living in his father's house, and this is so many times we fell in the same trap. We're not happy. We always think that there's green on the other side. Always think that the world can provide for us or offer to us more pleasant things. That's how we feel many times. Why we are here in the church and always fasting, always standing on our feet, always praying and reading for, and attending liturgies for so long, this is so hard. The devil will come to you and say, go enjoy your life, go enjoy yourself, go find some friends that are fun friends and leave this. This is not fun. That's what happened with the younger son. He was living comfortably. Why we knew that he was living comfortably? Although he complained and he got his portion from his father, because when the time came, when he went and he did whatever he wanted, when he spent everything, the Bible says he came to himself and said, how much of the good things that left over in my father's house, and here I'm dying and perishing. He came to, he remembered how he used to live in his father, father's house. He remembered. I tell you a story of remembering. There was a young man who, when he was a kid, he used to come to church. His father used to bring him to church. But his father passed away, and this young man lived away from church. He did everything bad. And Abu Nabshoi Kamil, this is the story of Abu Nabshoi Kamil, he sent to him servants, go bring him back. We know his father. Go bring him back. They tried so many times. He shuts the door in front of them. He doesn't allow him in. Years passed. Abu Nabshoi himself, he said, let me go and try myself. He went to him. He said, Abuna, I don't want to go to church. I don't want to go. Just please, yani, don't bother. I don't want to have any, any part with the church or the people of the church or God or anything. But after Abu Nabshu was pleading with him so many times, he said, oh, okay, I will go once with you, but please don't, don't come again and ask me to go again. I'm just going once because I don't want you to feel upset, just one time and that's it. He said, okay, that's fine, come with me. So Abu Nafshoi held him by the hand and come into church in front, in front of the altar, holding his hand. And when they entered the church, they bow down. They bow down and pray our father. This young man started tearing up, crying. Abu Nafshoi didn't do anything. He said, what happened to you? Why are you crying? He said, I remembered, I remembered the same way my father who passed away used to hold me by the hand and come and kneel before the altar. I felt my father's bringing me back. From that moment on, he stayed in the church. Remember the good things in your life and my life because we wander away, we leave church for whatever reason, thinking it's fun out there. But always there's something to bring you back, even just a memory, a good memory in your father's house, a good memory in your childhood. Remember that, because that will bring you back. That will bring you back. He came to himself. That's number two. He came to himself. What does that mean, he came to himself? He never left himself. 
No, he came to himself, meaning confronting himself. Don't just keep going. If you are in a wrong way, don't keep going. Just sit with yourself and say, what am I doing? Years passed. I'm still living. I'm not moving forward with my life. And my spiritual life is deteriorating. I'm far away from God. Come to yourself. This is very important. We are very distracted. We are very distracted. We don't come to ourselves. We don't sit with ourselves. And you know that the sacrament of confession is called repentance and confession. Repentance is when you come to yourself, when you sit with yourself. That's coming, sitting with yourself. Evaluate things. See if, 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 if the way is, uh, you're si living in is, is leading you to eternal life or taking you away from it. This young man, this young son, after he wasted everything, he came to himself. And he said, what? But when he came to himself, he said, how many of my father's hired servants have bread enough? and to spare, and I perish with hunger. I will arise. This is the moment of everyone that we should also follow in this verse. I will arise. I will arise and go to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I'm no longer worthy. This is the confession. This is confession. Today, the Pauline Epistle was from 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 2 through 13. Two verses I'm going to read to you, because this is for the people who live in church. As known and yet well known. Yes, the devil will come to you and say, you're unknown, you're meaningless. Nobody would know you. As unknown and yet well known, as dying and behold we live, as chastened and yet not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing. As sorrowful, yes, there is sorrow in our hearts, yet we always rejoicing. As poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. We are possessing all things. If you stay in your father's house. The Catholic epistle today also is telling us something very important. From the book of St. James, chapter 3, verses 1 through 12. Does a spring send forth fresh water and bitter from the same opening? Can a fig tree, my brethren, bear olives or a grape vine bear figs? Thus, no spring yields both salt water and fresh. If you are a godly person, stay that way. You can't be one day godly and one day worldly as a spring of this water. One day cannot bring good water and one day bitter water. If you are godly, if you are a child of God, stay that way. If you are the light of the world, stay that way. Don't always look at the world. the world. The world is darkness and live in darkness and needs you to light up. At least the sweetness of your water, the spring brings forth from you, springing over from you. That's what the world needs now. Don't think that the world is better than you. We are the, the children of the house, the house of our father. And always the Catholic epistles ends with, do not love the world or the things of the world for the world is passing away all his desires, but he who does the will of God will abide forever. That's what we need to do. We need to acknowledge that we are children of God himself. We are children. How good when this son came to himself and said, I will go to my father. He's still a son, although he lived away. He lived so far away from his father, but he still called his father, father. And we call our God, our father, because we have the Holy Spirit to call him father. 
when we were baptized, we are his children. No matter what you do, no matter how far you went, you come back, he's still your father, and he still calls you my son, my daughter. He still calls everyone sons. And that's what he taught us. When you pray, say, our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. He is our father. But the devil will come and say, mm -mm. do you think your father will accept you again? After you've done all of this, these things, he will never accept you. No, he will accept us. Look at what his father did to when he saw him. It says, and he arose and came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. That's our father. He's waiting for every one of us to come back. He's w waiting for us to come back. Did you notice that his father never asked him, what did you do with the money? Did he punish him? There was no punishment. There was forgiveness and acceptance. Rather, there was actually feast, rejoicing. They killed the fatted calf. So total opposite. But the, the devil wants you, wants you to feel that you'll be kicked out. You will never look at your face again. Look how horrible you are. No. He is happy because heaven, angels of God will be happy for one sinner that repents. One sinner that repents. There is a feast up there. So let's make God, our Father, happy again. If you wandered away, if you just went far, this is the time. This is the, the reading of the church. This is for me and for you to come back. He's accepting, and he's still calling us children, his children. And glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.